Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you my nail care routine and demonstrate how I use a cuticle pusher and a nail buffer to keeping my nails and cuticles looking their best. I like to start off with Sally Hansen's Instant Cuticle Remover and I apply this to my cuticles and instantly they will soften my cuticles and prep them for the next step. I really enjoy using this metal cuticle pusher by Quo, but of course you can use the plastic ones or the orange sticks because they do the exact same job. So with very light pressure, I'm going to gently push away at my cuticles and you will slowly be able to see the cuticles being lifted off. It's quite amazing actually. So I do try to do this routine about once a week and I've noticed a huge difference. It's definitely made my nail bed appear so much longer because you're essentially pushing back the cuticle and exposing more of the nail. So it works in your favor because you'll definitely have more space and surface area to work with in terms of nail art. And overall, it just makes your fingernails and hands look more aesthetically pleasing. So there's also the option of using a metal clipper to clip away at hangnails and excess um, thick and dried cuticles, but I personally feel there is no need for me to use them. Uh, I feel the metal cuticle pusher does the job quite well in pushing back my cuticles and making them look nice and clean, but of course if you need the extra help of a clipper then feel free to use one of those. So after my cuticles have been pushed back, I'm going to use a soapy damp rag to remove all the excess uh, cuticle nail gel and then use a dry cloth to dry my nails thoroughly before I prepare them for some pampering. There are so many different types of cuticle creams out there, but today I will show you my top three favorites, starting with Deborah Lipman's The Cure ultra nourishing cuticle repair cream. I just like to massage this into my cuticles and into the skin around my nails. And I believe that really pampering and moisturizing your cuticles will result in healthier and stronger looking nails. Next on my list here, I have Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream, and I absolutely love the smell of this stuff. It smells so fresh, so lemony, and uh, same as before, I just like to massage this into my cuticles, and it really does leave my cuticles feeling super moisturized. Last on my list is some plain old inexpensive Vaseline or petroleum jelly, and it works extremely well. I like to use this before bed if I'm going to use this Vaseline because it's very greasy and thick. So if you let it absorb overnight, you should be perfect for the next morning without leaving a greasy film. This next step is extremely crucial in my nail care routine and that is buffing my nails. I like to use the more abrasive side to really square out my nails because I like a really squared nail. and. No worries, this buffing tool is extremely gentle and does not cause any wear or tear. And then I like to use the gray side, which is more gentle, to buff away on the nail bed and make them look really nice and smooth. And then lastly, using the white side of the buffing tool, I just use that for the finishing touches and it really leaves my nails feeling nice and polished. Now our nails are ready for some base coat and that good old nail art. I hope this video has helped some of you out there with your own nail care routines at home. And if it did, please leave me a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future tutorials. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you soon in my next video.